Have a great day, my dear champs. On this bright new day, let's study English. Have you all studied the poem, Wake Up? Come, let's sing the poem together. All jump and stand up. Now sing the poem. Wake up, wake up. It's a lovely day. Please get up, oh please get up. And come and play. Wake up, wake up. It's a lovely day. Please get up, oh please get up. And come and play. The birds are singing in the trees. And you can hear the buzzing bees. The birds are singing in the trees. And you can hear the buzzing bees. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's a lovely day. Please get up, oh please get up. Oh, please get up and come and play. Wake up, wake up. It's a lovely day. Please get up. Oh, please get up and come and play. It's much too late to lie in bed. So hurry up, you sleepy head. It's much too late to lie in bed. Little sleepy head, wake up! Wash and dress and come on out! Everyone is up and about! The cow, the horses, the ducks and the sheep! The tiniest chicken! Cheep, cheep, cheep! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Very good! sang very well. Now look keenly in the picture and say what all can you see in this picture. Yes, bright sun, birds. There are many birds in this picture. Next you can see a horse, a horse in a stable. Now you can see a boy, happy boy, girl, girl with a blue frock ducks ducks in the pond a sheep a white little sheep then you can see flowers are they flowers beautiful flowers then there are bees also buzzing bees now children, here you have said the names of things you have seen in the picture. They are naming words. We have revised these naming words or noun in the previous classes. Do you remember? What is a noun? A noun is a naming word. It tells the name of a person, animal, place, thing or idea. Is it clear? Now along with these naming words, you have heard some more words describing those nouns like bright sun, blue frock, white sheep, happy boy, etc. These words are adjectives. This also you have studied in the previous class. So now we just had a quick glimpse on nouns and adjectives. Now let's move on to reading is fun. Let's see the answers for each question. 
questions and answers first one what do you think birds say to each other in the morning birds wish good morning to each other in the morning second who are already awake answer the birds and bees are already awake number 3 which creatures wake up in the morning before the child does answer the cow horses ducks sheep and the tiniest chicken wake up in the morning before the child does next you have a tank twister you have to say it aloud okay betty bought a bit of butter but the bit of butter that betty bought was bitter so betty bought some better butter to make the bitter butter better can you say this tank twister like this try to say it i'll say it once again Betty bought a bit of butter but the bit of butter that Betty bought was bitter so Betty bought some better butter to make the bitter butter better can you children try it now let's move on to our next textual exercise the next activity is connect the pairs of sentences below using and or but before discussing this or before saying the answers for this i'll describe what is these and and but children here you can see some words or and because but yet so for etc these are conjunctions today we will study only two conjunctions they are and and but now look at these sentences the dog is a faithful and intelligent animal I want to go to play but I am sick the words and but are conjunctions or connecting words using this and and but you can connect two sentences conjunction connects words or groups of words or short sentences we use and to combine similar ideas or to add information this friday is a holiday and i would like to go to the fair it is an added information we use but to show a difference or an opposite idea rohan plays well but he is an impatient player here those both are opposite ideas remember to add a comma before the conjunction when you connect sentences did you understand children i'll give you one or two examples more crow has an apple crow has an orange which conjunction you have to use here and or but yes and crow has an apple and an orange now the next one thud is big kitty is small here the ideas are opposite so which one you have to write there to combine these sentences yes you will write but thud is big but kitty is small is it clear children now can you write the answers for questions given in your textbook connect the pairs of sentences below using and or but now let's try the first one is it is time to get up for school i want to sleep for some more time here the ideas in both sentences are opposite so what you have to write there and or but now let's join the sentence it is time to get up for school comma but i want to sleep some more time now next one sheila got some chocolates for her birthday she got some new clothes too in these sentences here you have what similar ideas isn't it so which conjunction you will use you will use and sheila got some chocolates for her birthday and she got some new clothes too 
Is it clear? Everyone has gone to sleep. I want to read my book. Here it is opposite, isn't it? So what you will write there and or but? Yes, but. Everyone has gone to sleep. But I want to read my book. Now the next one. Raju plays cricket. He also plays hockey. Here it is giving similar ideas. That is both are saying, both sentences are about playing itself. So what you will write there? Yes, you will write there and. Raju plays cricket and hockey. Our next exercise is fill in the blanks according to the example given below. Here you have some blanks here. Isn't it? Can you see? Yes. You have to fill these blanks according to the examples given. The first one is an example for you. Tiny, tinier, tiniest. Now you have to do the second one. Big, bigger, biggest. Next one. Sleepy, sleepier, sleepiest. Next lovelier and loveliest is given. The blank will be lovely. Now the next one. Late, later, latest. Now the next, round. Rounder, roundest. Small, smaller, smallest. Good, this is something different. Better, best. Explanation of this I will give you in the next class. This is compare, okay, comparison. Now let's stop today's class here. Hope you all understood today's class. Be safe, be good. Thank you.